Well, hey, all uh, group members, uh, thanks for uh, being together again and continuing uh, together um, in this short mini series in the book of uh, Ephesians. And I trust that uh, you are being sharpened and hopefully encouraged in your faith and in your relationships with one another. Um, it's great to be a part of a group. It really is. Um, and community. It really matters um, to build relationships. So I'm encouraged knowing that there's a group like yours uh, meeting right now. And for our purposes tonight, or in your group uh, as you're meeting, I want to recap chapters 4, or really chapter 4, verses 1 to 16, but primarily the back end of the chapter. Um, And before I do that, however, I want to remind us again that Um, Paul spent three chapters um, telling and reminding the the Ephesians, who were Gentiles, who were not um, of the people of God. They were considered outsiders. He reminds them that they've been adopted into the family of God and that they share in all of the blessings um, in Christ um, that God has for them, regardless of their background, regardless of their culture, regardless of their life experience. Um, Jew and Gentile, the point is, are now one new person, one new humanity, one new race. And it's all because of God who has sent His Son, Jesus Christ, who died for their sin and God made them alive through Christ, through faith in Him. And now all walls of division are broken down very literally and objectively Um, between one believer to another. And that's what Paul spends three chapters articulating. And then he prays for them at the end of chapter 3 that they are strengthened to know this truth. And they are strengthened to be um, filled with all the fullness of Christ so that they can experience this unity that they have together. Well, in chapter 4, Paul shifts from... Here's who you are, here's all your blessings in Christ, to now walk it out, live it out together. Live it out together in your Christian character. The character of Christ should be um, displayed in you. All humility, gentleness, um, patience, long-suffering, in love. Those are the character qualities of Christ. The unity of our Uh, confession as believers. There's one faith, one hope, one baptism, one Lord, um, one Father who is over all of us. And so we're one. And then in chapter, in verse 7, Paul moves from, yeah, this is true of all of us, and then he moves to each individual us um, by saying, Christ, when he ascended into heaven, he gave gifts to the church. And those, there were foundational gifts, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists and teachers who taught um, the Ephesians and teach us through his word um, who Christ is and what he has done for us. And these um, gifts were given to us as foundation in order to equip us as believers to live are calling out to walk in humility, to maintain the unity um, until all of us together demonstrate and model the character of Christ and our unified confession so that one day as we continue to grow and grow and grow, we become mature. We become, we grow up together as God's people and God's children. And that's Paul's focus at the end of chapter 4, until we all attain the unity of our faith and the knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood. Now that word manhood is deliberate in the original language because Christ was a man and he was fully God, fully man. And what Paul is envisioning is all of us being built up together to live out who Christ was and who Christ is together um, in the church among one another. And the key is that we are all doing our part. We are all playing a part, using our gifts so that we're no longer tossed to and fro like children, but we grow up together um, in this amazing thing called 
love, this love of Christ, which Paul says um, in his prayer that we are already grounded and rooted in this love when each of us work and do our own part within the family of God, demonstrating Christian character, confessing our one confession, um, we grow up together using our gifts um, in love. And so as you study God's word in this back half of chapter 4, um, or this section, verse 7 to 16, dive in deeper and press into um, this idea and this concept that we are in a very real way the body of Christ. He's our head and we are all to do our part unified to his glory and to his praise and to the joy of people. God bless you all. I hope you enjoy your time uh, together in your study. Take care.